Hey Dragon Slayers! Today's video is about the different types of fasts as well as the overall effect of fasting. Don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps the channel out. Let's get started. So there are many different ways to fast and there is no one correct way to do it. An absolute fast withholds both food and liquid. This may be done for religious purposes, such as during the holy month of Ramadan in the Muslim tradition. During that time, no food and no drink is consumed during the period between sunrise and sunset. Medically, this combines the food restriction of fasting with the dehydration due to the restriction of fluids. This makes an absolute fast much more physically difficult and limits the duration to fairly short periods. Absolute fasts are not generally recommended for health purposes. The accompanying dehydration confers no additional health benefits that compensate for the increase in difficulty. The risk of medical complications is also much higher with an absolute fast. Later on, we'll cover many different fasting schedules uh, but intermittent fasting can be successfully implemented with either short fasts, meaning less than 30 or less than 24 hours, or longer fasts, which are more than 24 hours. Extended fasts, more than three days, can also be safely used for weight loss and other health benefits. Later on, we'll explain in more detail the best practices for fasting. But in general, Dr. Fong encourages plenty of non-caloric liquids. This includes water, tea, coffee, and homemade bone broth, which is full of nutrients. So let's examine the overall effects of fasting. What about potential side effects to fasting? Increased glucose? No. Increased blood pressure? No. Higher risk of cancer? Nope. Actually, fasting has the opposite effects. Lower glucose, lower blood pressure, and lower risk of cancer. Plus, we recap, we reap all the benefits of increased growth hormone. Fasting does not make you tired. Fasting does not burn muscle. There is no starvation mode from fasting where you shrivel up into the fetal position on your couch. Rather, fasting has the potential to unleash the anti-aging properties of growth hormone without any of the problems of taking artificial growth hormone. In future videos, we'll look in depth at how fasting helps weight loss, type 2 diabetes, boosts brain power and slows aging, and improves heart health. All of these benefits are achieved without drugs, supplements, or any costs. So to conclude this section, I just want you guys to know that Dr. Fung talks about how the basics of good nutrition can be summarized in these simple rules. Number one, eat whole food. Number two, avoid sugar. Number three, avoid refined grains, and number four, eat a diet high in natural fats, and number five, balance feeding with fasting. So that's what I've got for you guys today. Don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps the channel out. And remember guys, that together, you and I will slay the dreaded diabetes dragon.